Hello, everyone. Uh, we have the pleasure of having Phil from Windows Mobile Experts, or is it WM Experts? WM. Okay, WM Experts here with us to show a couple of the latest Windows Mobile devices and uh, educate us here at Nokia Experts. So, um, can you tell us what the two devices are that we see in front of us? Well, on the right there, you have the HTC Touch Pro 2, or on AT&T, it's called the Tilt 2 because the screen will flip up and tilt. And that small phone on the left there is the HD2, which actually isn't available in the United States, but some people have them, and we are lucky enough to be one of them. Um, both of these are from HTC. They're both running uh, the Sense UI. One, the HD2 is official. Uh, the Touch Pro 2, I've got a cook ROM on it, so it's got a more updated version of uh, TouchFlow and, and Sense than, uh, than comes on the stock ROM. Okay, well, I'm going to start off with the uh, with the... What is it? The touch. What is what does AT&T call it? The Tilt Two. Tilt Two. Okay, I actually have the T-Mobile version, um, but I haven't seen the AT&T version, and I haven't seen Sense running on it either. So let's take a look at this one. There are almost two versions of Sense. One has the giant application buttons down here on the bottom. This one does not. So this is actually oh, okay. a, a 6.5 ROM and not one of the 6.5.x ROMs that okay. we've seen floating around. So this is a. Uh, Full touch screen. What's the size on that screen? That's 480 by 800. Okay. And it's 3.6 inches. Okay, yeah, it's quite, quite big. Um, we've got some hardware buttons down below. Um, in the back, we've got a 3.2 megapixel camera and a speakerphone. And this AT&T does not have the 3.5, right? It does not. Okay. And then, of course, the beauty of this that I love on my T-Mobile one is the keyboard is fantastic. Yeah, this one's a little different because it doesn't have a dedicated number row, which takes a little getting used mm -hmm. to, but... And then you do have some uh, icon ones, though, like SMS and mm -hmm. email and things like that. I think that I don't have those on my T-Mobile one. And, of course, everyone, the screen tilts up, right? Different angles. All right. Whew. That's one. That is a big phone. Yeah. It's got a nice nice feel to it, though, even though it's big. It's quite thin, especially if we look at uh, look at these two here. You can see that there's a... Quite a bit. It's, it is quite a bit wider, but uh, definitely thin compared to how thick that is. But it has no keyboard, so I guess that Correct. makes up for some of that. <laughs> photo there. Okay. Yeah, so for the most is... part, the UIs are, are are very similar. Oh, so you're talking about these uh, right. controls down here? Okay, that's the difference. In, instead, those are in their own tab. I gotcha. And then again, this is where we can slide through all these different uh, tabs. Internet stocks, photos, video, music. Now that Twitter is at a, a HTC Twitter client. That's their peep Twitter client. Okay. Client Twitter client Twitter client, <laughs> which is uh, pretty darn good actually. And this is uh, unlike this uh, this AT and &E Tilt too. This one has a capacitive screen. I can it, I can tell right. It has a glass capacitive screen, um, and it's got the Snapdragon processor running at one gigahertz, which is just and, fast. And what's the size of that display? That display is huge. That is a three foot. <laughs> Two inch, um, no, it's what is that? Four point one, um, and it's running a little larger than four eighty by two. It's was it five? No, it's not five hundred. It's larger than it's a higher resolution. High resolution, yeah. okay. So if we do uh, start, this is uh, this is this is the more typical one, right? With the three. Yeah, that one's got three okay. rows. Uh, it's a registry entry if you want to change it to four okay. or five or six. Yeah, that's quite responsive. Now, how's the browser on this? What they're using for the web? Well, browser? it depends on which one you're using. Um, it comes with Internet Explorer, which I personally don't use. Mm -hmm. um, depending on exactly where you get the ROM, a lot of them have Opera built in, Opera Mobile. Okay. Uh, Nine point seven is standard these days. I'm running the Opera Mobile ten beta, which is fine. I like it a lot. Yeah, for Nokia experts readers, an Opera Mobile ten available on Windows Mobile. Actually, just like two weeks ago, now available on. Uh, S60 devices as well, both the touch and non-touch, mm -hmm. so, so we get that browser. And I actually prefer that browser over the standard one as well. So what do you think is the uh, the big strength of this device? Well, obviously the size. Right. Um, you know, we've all talked a long time, pixels make up for a lot. In this case, uh, HTC has added a whole lot of pixels and a whole lot of size. And the Snapdragon processor, you just can't beat right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's one gigahertz, it's fast, it's powerful. Uh, you're not going to run out of RAM. And use it much for media? Do you have, like, um... I believe there's a video on it somewhere. I'll go to pictures first, actually. So it kind of flicks. 
try to try to find a non-incriminating picture here. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's kind of the stock picture, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so if you can see that on that's the video, that's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Oh, and I can tap to tap to zoom mm -hmm. in too. Okay. Uh, Multi-touch isn't built in. There are some hacks to do it right now. That's a long, convoluted story. Okay. And then what are these? These are different options for uh, managing the picture? Or? Yeah. Um, if you hit the first one, it'll take you back to okay. the camera. Um, okay. Or, yeah. If you're in camera, it'll take you back to the camera. If you're in the album, it'll take you back to the album. Oh, so, so is, that, is that Facebook a built-in? Yeah, actually okay. it is. You have to log in with your you know, username and password, but then it just uploads it. It's one-touch upload. Okay. Very, very simple. That's nice. Oh, okay. So we got uh, mm -hmm. some other ways to save it or set as icons. Okay. Footprints is geotagging. Okay. Pretty cool. And that's new in the sense you are. So would a video show up here too? If there was a video If on there was it? a video, okay. it would, yeah. So it looks like we don't have any. Okay. And then music. Mm -hmm. This is a now this is an HTC this is an HTC music player, not the it is. Does it have uh, Windows Media Player too or does it have it does. both? Okay. You don't want to see it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> HTC is pretty good and again with Snap everything is better with Snapdragon. Yeah. So this is all HTC. This is kind of a, an iPhone cover flow type of thing, right? You noticed that, huh? Yeah. Oh, there we go. And it has the name of the songs. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mono speaker on the back? Yeah. Nokia rules and stereo speakers, man. <laughs> we got the sound down. I've heard these weather animations are pretty cool. Oh, we don't have a connection right now. but It is, but you do have the full screen weather, which looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's eye candy. I mean, it's not <laughs> functional, but you got a one gigahertz processor. Come yeah, on. that's right. Let's show off some weather. Yeah. Whole bunch of settings. Um, settings again, yeah. this is HTC scanning the Windows Mobile settings. Oh yeah, these are much uh, mm -hmm. much nicer than. Okay, let's let's do one thing here that bugs me on Windows Mobile. If I even with a six five, I saw that mm -hmm. if you go to calendar, right? Where's the? So go to calendar. We want to do a new appointment. Let's see if HTC has done something here too. Okay. Title. There we You're go. You're still in HTC. See, that's nice because I know on Windows Mobile I have to use a stylus. Mm -hmm. Now, the stylus won't even work on this one, though, right? I mean, this is capacitive. Right, so, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Now, this, uh, you said it's European, coming to U.S.? Coming to U.S. sometime in 2010, HTC has said we don't know what carrier our guess, and I still think it's a pretty good guess, would be T-Mobile. Mm-hmm. So then the T-Mobile uh, getting the iPhone rumors wouldn't come true. This, <laughs> this would be their <laughs> iPhone, right? <laughs> this would be better than the iPhone, I would say. Yeah, I guess the, 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 the strengths of the iPhone, right, are the, the screen mm -hmm. and the capacitive. you got all that. Apps, Windows Mobile has all the apps, right? We do. The App Store opened yeah. up in October. Um, it's pretty good. It's got a little room to grow, but it's got about 500 apps in it right now. Okay. But you can still do... And you get, yeah, you can still sideload outside the store, okay, okay. no problem. All the other old ways we used to do that. Yep. YouTube, is that a built-in client? That is a built-in okay. client. YouTube released one last year. Okay. This is, yeah, so this has a lot of it built into the OS itself, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. And what, is, what kind of price range is this going for European version? European version, about eight nine $900, depending on where you get it. Okay. Not cheap, but... Beautiful device. You think this is... Uh, this is something that's going to bring Windows Mobile back? More excitement for the platform? Maybe not yet. Kind of the feeling is this might be the first phone to get an upgrade to Windows Mobile 7. Okay. We'll see. It could well straddle the line. Um, and if it does, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of waiting for the next OS to come around mm -hmm. and then a big, hopefully a big marketing push. Now, you, this is something like...